Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. My name is Mars, and today's Brave Exvius is actually War of the Visions flavored because, well, you know, I streamed it, uh, well, it was still tonight, and uh, it was a lot of fun, and I've enjoyed the game a lot, but the most common question that I think I've had so far, is, aside from should I keep this reroll, is how do I reroll to begin with? So I figured I would take a little bit of time to show you my strategy and my method for how I rerolled to get the account that I got in War of the Visions. And you can do this for a lot of other mobile games. Um, I'm going to show you the way that worked for me. Um, so the method that I'm using is to use multiple instances of an emulator. Uh, the other two ways that I'm aware of that you can reroll easily in War of the Visions is first to use a rooted device and delete the saved game data from you know the back end. Uh, that may be a little bit more technical for some people, so this is a little bit easier to do. Uh, my method with with Nox in this emulator here is a little bit easier to do, um, and some people just have their phones to work with or, or whatever, and so in that case you may not want to root your phone. Now, if you can't do my method or you can't delete data in the back end of the the game data, then your only option is to delete the game and then reinstall it completely um, if your device is not rooted. Um, and uh, you don't necessarily want to root your device. Um, I know that for a lot of Apple devices, it will like void your warranty and stuff like that. Um, so what I would recommend is if you have access to a PC, you can download an emulator. And uh, the emulator that I'm using is Nox, but I do know that most of the other emulators out there have similar functions and features. They may just be in slightly different places or look slightly different. So in this case, we're going to be using Nox. Just as an example, it's what works for me. The game plays nicely on it. I use the Amazon App Store version of the game. Um, and yeah, so that, that's my setup here. So the first step in order to begin your rerolling process is to download the game. Okay. And you just download it. You don't open it yet. You don't do anything with the game. This is going to be kind of like your home base save version of the game. So this is, you know, I, I have it downloaded right here. This is before we've created a new game before we've done anything. We've just down downloaded the game and nothing else. Uh, the place I want to go next is this button here that says multi drive. And again, on other emulators, it may be called something different or in a different place, but that's what it is. And it brings up this little thing right here. And this keeps track of keeps track of all of the different instances of Nox that you have on your computer. If you've never used your emulator before, you should only have one here. In my case, I have multiple. I have one with a save you know, version for Brave Exvius, another one for War of the Visions, and another one for this sample. So I've created this one right here. So that's what's open right here. Um, is the War of the Vision sample one. That's what this window is right here. Now, what you can do is you can, once once uh, you have the game downloaded, you come to the multi-instance manager and you close, you close that emulator. And what that allows you to do, at least within this one, is it opens up all these options right here. And the most important one we're concerned with is the one that says copy right here. So when we hit copy, it takes our War of the Visions sample, you know, I called it sample because I'm demonstrating it to you. But, uh, you know, you might just call it War of the Visions or whatever. It copies it. So now you have two different emulators or instances of the emulator that both have the game downloaded. So now you don't have to download the game again. Uh, your emulator is already set up and you can see it takes much less time than starting a new emulator, uninstalling the game, reinstalling the game and all this other stuff. And the fun thing is that you can copy this as many times as you want. Um, so typically when I was rerolling, I would not touch this first one. Uh, I would never change the game. Um, I would never log in or reroll through that one. Anytime I wanted to roll a new account, I would just hit copy and then open the new version of the emulator that I have. So as you can see, this one's already almost done much faster than trying to uninstall, reinstall, download, whatever. You're just literally creating an instance of the emulator that has the save data and then copying it. So now you have the base game downloaded, but with no save data on either of them. So, and again, like I said, you can copy these as much as you want. So now that I have the copy here, um, I'm going to go ahead and open this. All right. Now, as you can see, when we've opened the copy of the emulator, we have it basically set up as the other one that we had set up previously with the game ready to open. So since this is a copy, we're going to go ahead and dive on into the game. And uh, this is going to be our first reroll. And I'll go ahead and walk through all of the steps of how to reroll quickly in War of the Visions. There's a couple of things that you can do that really, really speed up the process and uh, 
what you do if you do a reroll and you're not super happy with it, all you have to do is come back to this multi instance manager. You can hit the stop button on this and it'll bring up the trash can option and you can just delete that one. It'll delete the whole emulator, it'll delete the save data and everything. So, you know, if you try to do a reroll and it's not very good, then you just throw it in the dumpster. Um, and then you just copy this original one again and then you use that copy to, to roll again. So, Anyways, like I said, we haven't done anything with the game yet. This is just like a brand new, brand new save file. It's beautiful. Gotta have some sound while we're in here. It's a beautiful game, it really is. It's got a lot of great audio, good stuff to it. All right, so you click uh, or touch to start if you're doing something like this on another device. And uh, it'll give you the option of start game or uh, start a new game or to continue. Continue prompts you to link to a Facebook account. Um, which is what you want to do once you find the account that you're that you're interested in. But uh, for now, we're gonna do a new game. And this, uh, they have you agree to the terms of service. I am 16 years old or older. Personalized ads are fine. And then account binding, you want to skip this. So you want to log in as a guest. If you bind it with your Facebook account, it becomes a lot harder to reroll because then you have to unbind from your Facebook account, which is a pain in the butt. And you can use your Facebook to log into the account that you want to save. And that's why you want to go in as a guest. Cause right now we don't know if we want to keep this account yet. We just got to reroll first. All right, my name, sure. My name's Anna, I don't care. My name's Anna, Anna Bonana, Fifi Fofana. And then we'll go ahead and load into the game and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so once you're loaded into the game, it's going to start the whole prelude section. Um, you can go ahead and watch this if you want to or not. I'm gonna skip it because I've seen it a whole bunch of times since I've been re-rolling. But uh, basically you make your way through the menus and then it'll begin the tutorial portion of the game. Um, the tutorial portion can take anywhere between five to 10 minutes, depending on how attentive you are and how quick you are and whatever. Um, if you're just sitting there mashing the buttons, you can get through it pretty quickly, but uh, you do need to play through this first part. Um, and it's not really a big deal. If you're into the story, then, you know, pay attention to the story at least the first time, uh, or the last time or second time. I don't care. I'm not your dad. Um, and yeah, this, this will give you, uh, some of the intro story. You can also click this little sidebar right here and that will give you the option to skip right there. If you would rather not sit through the cutscenes. So, um, I'll go ahead and play through this a little bit and then get to the next spot where they, where you, you kind of have an option of something to do. Okay, once you get past the CG sort of intro movie part of the, the introduction to the game, this is when it finally brings you to the main menu. And if I remember right, this is where Ramada helps you out with your first summon. So uh, she directs you to the summon tab down here. This is where you do your first free summon. And now unlike some gotchas, this summon is actually random. So it can give you uh, units and cards of any rarity so this one counts as much as any of the other ones um, and so the rarities that you're looking for in War of the Visions is ultra rare being the rarest uh, MR being the second rarest and then uh, rare super rare whatever everything else kind of underneath that um, so in this case we can see that gold is the MR that's the second rarest uh, I don't see any um, ultra rares currently, but you click through these one at a time and you can see they can change. Um, so we have a mega rare Lorenzo and some mega rares are pretty good in this game. Um, cards will give you access to espers and stuff that you equip to your units. I'm just clicking through it real quick. But uh, what you're looking for, what you most want to see is rainbow crystals or rainbow cards. Those have the ultra rares inside of them. And uh, those are probably what are gonna help you the most. Those tend to be the most powerful units. And this one changed to a rainbow. Oh, that's a, that's a stroke of luck right there. Ooh, who is this one? I don't know if I know that. <laughs> so I spent all this time re-rolling <laughs> today and not once did I see Gilgamesh. Um, Gilgamesh is a fantastic character, by the way. He does have a high investment uh, requirement for him, but if you're willing to put up with the investment cost to try and build him up, uh, then he is one of the most powerful characters in the game for sure. So anyways, that is, you know, the first summon that you do in the game. Um, 
yeah, and, and as you can see, it can count like all of the rest of them. So, and then you get tracked into more tutorial stuff. When you're finally free again to do another summer run, I will let you know, but you basically just follow the script for now. Okay, so once you complete your first story mission, it does take you through a few more tutorials in the main menu, teaching you about units, how to level them, how to limit break them or awaken them or level their skills and stuff like that. Once you're done with all of that, it dumps you out right here on the summon page once again. And uh, as you'll see right here, we have a step up banner. Now this is what you want to hit up, you know, as, as your, your spot to reroll. Uh, it does take a few minutes to get here, not to worry. And you'll notice, oh, we don't have any uh, Vizor right now, but if you check your presents, uh, we have all of our, our pre-registration bonuses available to select from. Um, and I just go ahead and hit claim all. This gets you all kinds of stuff. First of all, it gets you a Stola, who is a very competent mage, uh, especially if you're doing the Shadowbringers event, you're able to get her shards to level her up pretty well. So she's actually a very good unit. Um, it also gives you Siren, which is an ultra rare uh, summon. Um, so that's always handy to have, as well as a bunch of other stuff, but more importantly, it gives you a huge heaping pile of uh, Vizior, which you need. So, now that we have enough Vizior to go and do some pulls on the Step Up Banner, that's what we're going to go do. Um, this Step Up Banner is a really fantastic deal. I highly recommend anybody who's re-rolling go ahead and dive into this. It goes 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 for each of the three steps, and the final step gives you a guaranteed Ultra Rare. So let's go ahead and drop 1k on the first one. And then we'll do 2k for, or 1.5 on the second one. And then, uh, you know, if you're doing quick math in your head, you'll know, oh, we don't quite have enough to do all three laps, or all three steps on the lap. So I will show you what to do next. So um, for enduring with me, we're going to go ahead and do all these summons, and you get to enjoy them with me, whether they're good or they're bad. I mean, we did get Gilgamesh, so, you know, that's pretty sweet. I know there's a lot of people who would be happy about rolling him. More cards, more cards. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, it's gold. And who is this? Oh yeah, this is a Rary, Raryu? He's actually a pretty good unit. He For for an MR, he is a time mage, so uh, he can actually find a lot of use in a lot of parties. Okie dokie. At least that's what I've heard. I haven't worked with him yet, because uh, I don't play JP, and today was my first day actually playing this game. So. Uh, second step, we're going to go ahead and do that too, and you'll see that we are not going to have enough lap, uh, Vizor, Vizior, Vizior left to do the last step. I call it Lapis. I mean, you know, years and years of calling it Lapis. You can't judge me for that. All right. Got more summons. A few more golds this time, which is, you know, that's good. Look, another gold. Who's this? Ramada. She's cool. I like her in the story. She's a cool character. Liart. She's kind of sassy. Malboro, another equipable card. Naya. Seri, Seri? Man, I don't know. I should probably pay attention to the cutscenes a little better. But this is a pretty typical reroll where you might get lucky with one and then you kind of have to sift through a bunch of stuff that you may be a little bit less excited about. I actually don't know much about this character. He might be good, he might not. Now that we've done all of that summoning, you say, ah, oh, well, we only have a thousand. We can't finish the lap. Hold up. <laughs> um, we are going to go to our missions uh, because by summoning, you are able to accomplish a few missions that will also give you some, some Vizior. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're on this second tab. Yes, with training. And you'll see that consuming Vizior gives us some Vizior, which is great. And then um, summoning more units gives us more Vizior. So you see that we're at 1,800 Vizior, uh, which means we only need 200 more to do that final, that final lap. Oh, do we still have a mission? I'm pretty sure it's that energy one that I saw before. Where did it go? Claim all, just in case. All right. So, depending on how many characters you summoned with your first two steps you will have between like 1600 and 1800 Vizior right here right now. Um, and the best way to get that last 200 is to go ahead and dive into the beginner's hall. Um, I think there's like 13 or 14 quests involved with this, um, but each time you clear one, you get 100 Vizior. So all you have to do is clear the first two of these um, in order to get the remaining 200 you need, or if you need 300, you do three. 
And then, you know, if it's an account you like after doing the final step of the step up, then you want to continue with it anyways because you can get a ticket at the end that gives you a 10 summon. So you want to do this anyways, but for the purpose of re-rolling, we're going to do two of these missions and that's going to hook us up with the last 200 that we need to do the final step of the step up banner. Alrighty, so I've completed those two quests. It only takes a couple minutes to do the first couple um, and then we'll go ahead and do that final step of the step up banner and that's kind of the point where you want to decide whether or not you want to keep an account uh, because you may have a couple of first pulls that are just not very good but all it takes is one good pull to really solidify an account into something that you might want to keep so we'll go ahead and see if this account is one worth keeping so we do have Gilgamesh that's the best thing that we've summoned of course now this one does have a guaranteed UR at the end which is super helpful and it looks like that's about the only one we got going for us, so. I've seen people use her, but I don't really know anything about her. She might be good, she might not, I have no idea. Blah, 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 look at all this rubbish. Disappointed, not a single one went gold, but maybe this rainbow is worth keeping. Oh! <gasps> Medina. Medina. All right, so uh, there you have it. Medina is uh, probably the most sought after character in the game right now, given um, how strong she still is in the Japanese version of the game. So she's somebody that is a good idea to keep an eye out for. Um, yeah, Gilgamesh and, uh, and uh, Medina. Now, um, another thing to keep in mind is that you do get a ticket along the way. I think that was from the... Um, the pre-registration reward so you never know this could have something good in it it might not but anyways um you would decide kind of at this point say like hmm is it worth keeping gilgamesh and medina uh there are some disadvantages to that they're both ice which means they're gonna compete for like the same enhancement materials but they are both like top tier characters they're both like some of the strongest damage dealers in the game so you might have to survive without a top tier support or a top tier tank or a top tier um healer so in that regard, it's totally up to you to uh, figure that out and decide. But at this point, this is where I would decide this. And if I liked the account, I would go ahead and link it to my Facebook. And you can do this through the account settings. I think you can also link to Google. I'm not 100% sure. I do it through Facebook. I, Because both Google and Facebook book are equally evil to me. Um, so you would go to, I believe it's accounts in the menu, and then you would log in with Facebook. And that would tie this account with your Facebook account so you can log in to the game through Facebook on your phone or on other emulators or on other devices and you have the same account everywhere that you go. That's how you save it. If you don't like this account, uh, just as a reminder, all you have to do is hit the stop button right here on the multi box or you can just close it out and then you have the option right here in the corner to trash this account if you're not if you're not into it. So, you know, it's totally up to you to decide what you want out of an account. Um, in my opinion, the best characters to look out for are Gilgamesh, Medina, Engelbert is very good. Um, as I've been using him, mine's level 30 already, and he's he's already putting in some great work on some of the harder stages. Um, and Ayaka, I think those are probably the four best. Oh, and Stern. Those five are probably the best. Um, but any of the other URs are also very, very good. So it's just a matter of like, do they look fun? Do you like how they look? Do you like how they play? Do you like their style? Because that can be good enough to help tilt it in favor of keeping an account. Um, my recommendation is to stay, re-roll until you land on an account that gives you a few URs. Two, probably a minimum of two. Um, yeah. So like the one that I settled on had Medina, it had Engelbert, and it had... Um, the Masherie, Masheri, whatever her name is, the, the French named, you know, you are gal. And then uh, Mont's dad, whatever the heck his name was. So I had a few URs to choose from at the end of mine. Um, and it had ones that I really wanted, such as Engelbert and uh, Medina. So that's what I stuck with. But uh, you can, you roll it and then you just have the choices before you. So anyways, that just about covers how I re-roll in this. This does work in other mobile games um, in a lot of cases, uh, especially since it's just you download the game. 
you copy it into multiple instances and then you boot it up and create new games each time. Um, this for me was the easiest because I could also copy multiple times and have like three different windows open playing the game three different times and just clicking through all the same stuff at the same time. So I was able to reroll multiple accounts simultaneously. So I'd see one and just summon, summon, summon. Ah, uh, that one's not very good. Summon, summon, summon. This one's okay. Summon, summon, summon. Oh, this one's way better. And, and that's what worked for me. So hopefully that answers your questions about how to re-roll in Final Fantasy Brave X vs War of the Visions. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Hey,